Okay, so I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to put the curlers in. Um, today we're going to do the medium sized curler. So I have 10 of the pink and 10 of the orange and then the two hooks. And so what I do is I start with a head of, of wet hair. Well, it doesn't, you don't want it to be wet. You just want it to be damp. She got out of the shower a little while ago, so it's just a little bit damp, but not very wet. So what I'll do is I'll section her hair off because I like to work underneath first so that because if you put the curlers in the top then they get in the way of the bottom curler so I like to section it out and clip the hair up that I'm not using so that it stays out of the way and I can work just down here below what you'll do is you'll take a curler and a hook and you'll open up the end of the curler just like this and you'll slide the hook right inside the curler and you'll thread it all the way through just like that and then I'll let her hang on to that while I get the hair ready. So you'll take a section of hair, about, about an inch of hair, and what you'll do is you'll twist the hair just a little bit like that, and you'll make sure that your hook is facing up so that the hair slides nicely right into the hook like that. And then what you'll do is you'll slide the curler, the tip of the curler, just over the edge of the hook like that, and then you just pull the hair right through the curler and it springs up into this nice um, curler. And the hair inside of it, you can see the hair inside of it, when the hair dries, it will dry in this nice spiral shape. So then we'll go on to the next piece, same thing, take about an inch section of hair, and then you'll take another hook with the curler, twist it again, and then you'll just slide the hair right inside the hook like that. Again, make sure the hook is facing up so that the hair won't fall out and then you'll just pull the hair right through the curler like that. And then it'll just Okay, so now we, we've gotten all of them put in her hair. We have orange on this side, pink on this side, because that's the way she likes it. She likes all of them to go one way on this side and the other ones to go all the way on that side because they one goes counterclockwise and one goes clockwise. So it depends on how you like it. Some of the people like to do alternating colors all the way around so that the curlers go different directions but she likes it having them go the same direction. So that's the way we did it for her today. So we have all of those in. We're working on the last, the last section up top here. So let's do these in her hair. Okay, twist. The hair goes right in like that. spring up you just kind of help it spring up a little bit like that and then let's see how many more do we need probably just one more and see she has different layers for her bangs and then it's longer down here but that's what's great about these curlers is that you can put them all in the curler because they all go right inside the hook like that and we'll just slide it right through so all the little hairs go in the same curler with the big hair, so it's kind of nice. So she'll keep the curlers in until the hair dries. You can either sleep in them at night or you can blow dry them if you, you, know, if you need it done the same day. And um, what's nice about is that it has a plastic top up here, this rubber top, so that if she sleeps in them, you know, it's not gonna slide off at night. That rubber piece is gonna keep it exactly where it needs to be all night long on all of the curlers. So it's perfect for her to go to sleep just like that and when she wakes up in the morning they're all gonna be in the exact same spot. So I'll stop the video now and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like in the morning. Okay so now that she has um, slept in the curlers they're all dry so we're gonna take them out and style the hair. So I want to show you how we take the curlers out. So what you'll do, you'll just straighten the curler out like this, pull it out so that it's straight and then you just kind of squeeze on it and it just slides right out and then you have the curl right there. 
and I'm just going to quickly take all of the rest of them out. I like to start underneath. And I just, you know, I sometimes just, you know, keep the curl like that. I just wind my hand finger around it so that it keeps the curl. And I will go ahead and just take this whole side off while I'm over here on this side. Slide that off. Turn your head a little bit, Cass, so they can see as we're taking them out. This slides right off. So that side is all done. Looks good. Okay, now let's take all these out on this side. Just take them out really quickly. gorgeous curls. You can turn around there too so you can kind of see. Taking them out. So they go in easy, they come out fairly quickly. And like I said, if you don't like to sleep in them, you can always um, just blow dry them in the mornings and they'll dry that way as well. So see, they all came out fairly quickly and now we have all these beautiful curls. Now what I like to do to kind of give it more body and to give it more wave is I like to separate the curls like this. I'll just kind of go in between and just kind of split them. So that way you get twice as many curls. Split this one and you know, like I said, just run your finger around it like that, and it just kind of gives you more curls. So we'll move around to this side a little bit. Um, some people like to kind of comb it out so that there's not such defined curls, but it just depends on if you if you like to be able to see the curls like that, or if you would just rather have it be more of a body. But anyway, so you'll just go around and just keep, you know, separating the curls out like that until you get you know all of them done like you want and then you can um, either pull it back into a you know a nice little barrette or however you want to do it but there you go that's the curls <laughs>